What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to integrate a package called TO Crop View Controller. I've actually used this myself and it's a really popular package that for some reason not that many people have heard of. It is popular, but there are still a vast majority of folks that don't know about it. And it lets you basically crop photos, um, different angles, aspect ratios, rotate, the whole nine yards, basically what Apple offers. And it's quite popular amongst um, big applications from Google, Discord, TikTok, Adobe, Patreon, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll take a look at this today. It's pretty easy to implement. Uh, without further ado, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, open up Xcode, and let's create a new project here. We're going to stick with the app template and we're going to call this, let's call this my photos because presumably we're making a photos app. Now you can use this in um, UI kit or Swift UI. It is meant to be used in UI kit, but obviously you can wrap it in view controller representable, but we'll do UI kit today for simplicity's sake. So first things first, let me go ahead and full screen my IDE here. And we're also gonna bring in the package by going to file, add package, and I believe it supports Swift Package Manager. So if we just paste uh, the actual repo URL and hit add package, it should be able to resolve it. Sometimes it's a little slower. So we've got two here. One is particularly designed uh, to be Swiftier. So we're gonna do this one, crop view controller. We'll go ahead and continue. And just like that, we should have it in our project. So let me go ahead and just build and run and make sure that we actually are compiling, don't have any issues, and our app is indeed launching. Cool, awesome. So let's jump into our view controller. Now, I debated whether or not I should just use an asset image to demo how this works, but I figured we can have a little bit more fun. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement a image picker to pick a photo from the photo album, and then we're gonna do an example of how to toss that into the crop view controller. So we're gonna first import, of course, crop view controller like so. And I am going to create a button here. We'll do it pretty sloppy for the sake of uh, brevity today. So I'll say 0, 0, 200. And I'll go ahead and give this a height of 50. And let me just go ahead and set a title on this. We'll say pick photo. This will be for normal. We'll add this as a sub view. And let me just go ahead and center it. So here we'll say center is view.center and we want something to happen when we tap this button. So we are going to add a selector and we'll say did tap button and the event will be touch up inside. Now when we click on this, we want to present a image picker. So we're gonna say picker is UI image picker controller and we can just create it like so. If you're not familiar with these pickers, I've got a dedicated video on this. We're gonna say present it with an animation. And the most important thing here is our source type, which will be the photo library. Before we run it, we do need to add the info plist entry to use photos. So we'll go into here and we are going to say privacy photo library usage description. Please allow access to select photo. Now I will call out that there is a newer PH photo picker from the photos framework. I've got a video on that as well, but we'll just use this today since it's simple. So let me just go ahead and build and run and let's make sure we've got a button and we can tap it and see our picker. So it looks like it's still launching or I messed something up. All right, there's our button. It's actually white text, so we see it in dark mode. So I'll go ahead and hit this and we should see our picker. Let's see, there it is, a little slow there. All right, there's our picker. And we can select a photo and we should see something happen now because we need to implement it first. So we're gonna say that the delegate is self and we will conform to the UI image picker controller delegate up here. And I believe there are two functions. One is did cancel and the other one is did select. So we'll implement both of them. Let's see, image picker, there it is. So in the cancel state, we'll simply say picker, dismiss, and we wanna do it with an animation. And in this case, we wanna get the actual image out. So here we'll say that the image will be from the image uh, or info dictionary, I should say, the original image as a UI image. Otherwise, we will return. And then of course, we also want to say picker, dismiss here as well. And let's jump into the cropping business. All right, so let's see, we should see our error go away. All right, we just have a warning. We haven't used 
it yet, which is okay. And let's see why this is yelling at me. I think this also wants me to conform to UI navigation controller delegate. So we'll say UI navigation controller delegate. Compile that once more and we are in good shape. And this is bugging me. So let me just set a title color on this so we can actually see it. And let's go ahead and give it a run. So we should see the exact same functionality as before, except uh, we should have our delegate wired up. So cool, so let's get into cropping. So it's pretty simple to create the cropping view controller. We literally just instantiate it, assuming you spell it correctly, unlike me. And you specify either an image or you can actually also specify a cropping style, which is pretty cool. So you can do circular, you can do default, you can actually specify aspect ratio. So we are gonna go with default and we wanna specify the image here as well. At the bottom, of course, we are eventually going to want to present this and we do animated true. And let me, uh, let me abstract this to a separate function. So we'll say show crop image is UI image. And then here we'll say show crop and image is UI image. And I'll paste this guy on in here. Now we get to the fun stuff, which is customizing this cropping behavior. So we can do quite a few things in here. So we can set up a aspect ratio preset as well as lock that preset. So let's say we want to make this a square so we can specify it to be a square. Let's say you're building an Instagram like app. Maybe you want this to be a preset to be three by two, four by three. There's quite a few to choose from in here. You can of course also decide whether or not you wanna lock this aspect ratio preset. Perhaps your app only handles a particular photo ratio so you can specify that. Uh, this controller also lets you rotate your photo, the, cho the chosen photo here. So you can actually specify whether the clockwise button is hidden or if the buttons in general are hidden. Um, I like having them there. Maybe we'll show an example with them hidden once we see them. And let's see, there's quite a few other things in here too. You can set up the toolbar position if you want it to be at the top or the bottom. We'll leave it at the bottom. I believe that is the default here. And then you can also specify quite a few other things as well. The ones that I particularly have used myself is the done button title and customizing its color. So let's uh, go ahead and call this continue. And then here we can specify the cancel button title as well. And here we will go ahead and show maybe, I don't know, quit instead of cancel. The most important thing here is the delegates to actually get the results out of the actual cropping uh, experience. And we want to conform to it. So there is a crop view controller delegates that we will conform to right up here. And it has a few functions in it. So let me just click into it so I can show you guys. There is a crop view controller. Uh, function here did crop image to rect, which is the one that I use most commonly. There is did crop image to rect here with uh, rect and an angle. That one also specifies the uh, angle, of course. And then the third one here, of course, is the crop circular image. I've never used this one ever in my life, and I doubt most people will. And then there is a did finish canceled. So let's go ahead and implement uh, at least a canceled one here. So we'll say crop and you'll see the four show up here. So let's do the canceled one. Uh, in this case, all I'm gonna say is on this view controller, let's just call the dismiss API to get rid of it. And then we are also gonna want the crop view controller did crop to image. And let's go ahead and see the crop to image. It actually gives you the image itself here instead of just the rect, the CG rect. So it's nice that you can just use the image directly. And let's see, let me go ahead and uh, just print out did crop. Maybe we'll create a UI image and stick the result in there so we can actually see what the heck is going on. So let me go ahead and build and run. We're gonna hit the button. We're gonna choose one of these nice photos, pick this one here. And just like that, we see a pretty native looking experience. And you'll notice right out the gate that it fully supports auto layout. You can use it on an iPad, iPhone. Um, and it looks pretty native, it's pretty simple, and this package is really lightweight, which is why I guess it's so popular. So, of course, we can rotate the image here. There is also this undo button, uh, or reset, I should say. So if we do that, um, we can go ahead and specify a aspect ratio. This is the sheet of uh, options that are, in fact, available. There we've got a square. If you recall, there's an option to lock the aspect ratio. 
we can rotate the other direction as well. And then the most important thing is we can in fact move these guides around and you can see just like the native photos app from Apple, you can in fact uh, crop via the uh, not dulled out area. And then of course you can pinch to zoom to get whatever part you want. Uh, hopefully everyone watching knows how cropping works, but it's pretty cookie cutter. It's basically what you would expect and it's a really simple, nice experience. So we can also see here that the uh, button titles have changed. This one's yellow, this one's blue. You can customize that uh, as well, the color to match your app's need. We can hit continue and we should see this dismissing. Let's see if I forgot to do dismiss. I did forget to do dismiss. So here we will say dismiss animated true. The quit button should dismiss because I did implement that. And there we go. It has in fact dismissed. So in this case, let's just wrap this up by having an image view show up. So we'll say image view is UI image view and I'll create a frame. Uh, let's just do uh, view.frame and we are going to just add this as a sub view just like that. It'll be the entire frame. I'll set the aspect ratio of this, which is the content mode, since we are not in Swift UI. So here we're going to say go ahead and fit. And finally, the most important piece, just assign your image. And let's uh, play with this a little bit more before we give this a run. I'll set this to top. I'll set this to done. I'll set this to back. And then I am also going to lock the aspect ratio. It'll be locked to a square. And I do want to do also the done button uh, color. I'll go ahead and make, let's make this a system red. And we'll say the cancel button color will be a system red as well. So let's give it a final run and let's see what we get. So we'll hit this button. Let's pick a different image. We'll go with this one to start off as a square because we set the preset. No toolbar down here. We moved it to the top, uh, which actually looks pretty nice as well. If I click on this, you'll see that uh, nothing actually happens. Uh, well, that's, a, that's actually not good. It does actually do something. So let me go ahead and do that. So let's see what is going on here. I believe it should lock it. Let's see. So we did aspect ratio lock enabled and we have set this to true. So let me actually read what this uh, property here does. So if true, while it can still be resized, the crop box will be locked to its current aspect ratio. So let's see, so let's do this. And looks like it actually isn't locking. So let's go back here. Maybe I'm screwing something up here. I digress. I'll leave a comment down below if I find out what I screwed up. But let me actually change this back to a square. All right, let's go to this. I'm going to go ahead and make it a square. And I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the bottom of the image here. Let's just get, there's a tree over here. It looks pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and hit done. And we should see a nice cropped image here pop up. Awesome, so that's Crop a View Controller, open source package, use it a lot myself, excited to share it with all of you. That's all I've got for you guys today. I will link this down below in the description. If you haven't done so already, drop a like for the video, uh, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, helps out with the reach a lot on our way to 80,000 subs pretty soon. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.